In any case, Dungeon Munchies. We played this game through Chapter 1 previous. And it was a real mixed bag. It was kind of a dry, melancholy, almost Metroidvania. A bit linear for a Metroidvania though, but you can backtrack and some abilities will... Well, no, actually only the double jump I think is the thing that lets you access other places, but I might have been blind to other pickups that we get. But the game took this weird turn right at the end of chapter one, and I kind of liked it. Suddenly things are turning out to be a bit savagery, horror-like. We've got this weird red stuff here causing things to melt, and all these strange weapons that we've been picking up have now been substituted for submachine gun and magical explosion staff. And I'm thinking, yeah, I'm going for that. Let's give them a go. Explodey staff. High speed gun. Let's give it a go. It does completely change my build, but that's fine. I'm sure we can make that work. So we've got these permanent buff ups. The game's pacing is all out of whack. It just dumps all these different kinds of power ups on you extremely quickly. I guess that opens up ideas on how to mix them, but uh, really I'm, I'm dumbstruck on what to make of this game. <laughs> I do really like the way it looks though. Right, time to drop out my melee stuff. I quite like the glass cannon build, and the wasps are okay. But how about, oh, I'm going to be firing a lot. Then let's get the extra damage on the bullets. And I believe there was something that made my, yeah there we go, magic damage increased and the Oh, I haven't cooked you yet. I need to cook that out of some fairy wings. Well, I can do that right here. Go my little Dio pot. Okay, so this time it did get eaten and put down there. It wasn't doing that previous. So now... Okay. That's one way to use the explosion staff. And how about our gun? Okay, when did I get so swole? Oh, good on me. And I think the only way to reload is to expel all of your ammo. Well, that's just fine. Let us carry on then. Oh, okay, carry on straight into a boss. Sure, I can do that. Let's go for it. So this was the weird flaming horned individual that was trying to stop us from opening the portal. But we're trying anyway. I don't know, this story's been a bit hard to, hard to swallow. Hard to digest, if we can stay thematic here. But th this kind of look to it, this morbid, melty look, I like it. Alright, let's do our escorting then. Straight back to playing Terminator 2, the arcade game, and also the Super Nintendo game. Truck escorting. tell me that the game is surprisingly loud right now. The game's audio bounce has been all out of whack all game. Oh, we have that though. You got anything else here for me? Good morning, says Alex. Well, welcome. But it ain't morning for me. It is. Uh, it's 20 past 3 because I lost my night and much of my day to Dragon's Dogma 2. What a game. Okay. 
Cathoria says, no idea what this game is, but I'm here for the ride. Yeah, it's a weird game. Very weird. But I just cannot bring myself to hate it. Although I can bring myself to hate escort quests. This game would be a lot less grotesque and a lot more meme -y. It looked like a meme game. I did not expect it to end up being so grotesque, though. It's like I'm playing that game Carrion. I forget the context of why we ever played Carrion on the channel, but we did. Bizarre game about playing is just this big pile of disgusting, rotten meat that eats everything. But it was a bit of a puzzle game. You had to puzzle your way around the environment. feels like such a twist from the kind of happy-go-lucky start of the game that we had. Also, what's going on with my UI in the top left? I got hearts and also big face heart thing? I was expecting more of this. <laughs> remains very strange in this game as well. I'm hard pressed to figure out what exactly is going on. And I have been reading it. Probably. Yeah, something weird's going on up here. Why do I have hearts? And also... Feels like I got two UIs there. That is weird. Maybe I can save and come back. Oh wait, it's gone now. Hmm... No idea what to make of that. Jake, I was doing my own sim files from the Cafe Curse 3 missions of ITG Mania with Simply Love Theme. Oh man, making me feel bad for ditching DDR today. You know what, this, uh, this explosive wand is working out well for me so far. Let's stick with it. It's got very high damage output, it just leaves me lacking whenever I need to reload. According to the achievements, there are three chapters in this game, so I'll probably do chapter two today and then finish the game off next week with chapter three before going into Void Stranger. I have no idea how long that game is. I'm told there's a lot of backtracking in it. Also, Banana's gone very spooky now. My destiny, please take my lowly soul. Banana was very freaky about us wanting to eat him previous.
And now I'm left hoping this is one of those forced fail bosses, but probably not. Okay, I didn't see that going so very well. Controls in this is pretty nasty. Dodging all of that whilst maintaining the uh, the shooting. Pretty tame Dan Maku. Dan Maku. You've lost me there, Acro. But then, you usually do. Yeah, the weirdness and grotesque level is taking me back to Kings of Power 4 billion, if anybody remembers that. Excellent animation, but very weird and extremely grotesque. Something I rewatched quite recently, actually, I just suddenly had a hankering for rewatching it. Dan Maku equals bullet hell patterns. Okay, I had no idea. Probably not too difficult to uh, to dodge if dodging is all we're doing here, but we also need to attack. And the problem is there's left and right mouse button attacking whilst also differentiating between, between clicking and holding for firing and reloading. And dodging on top of that with middle mouse button. Oh, maybe it's on me for putting it on middle mouse button. Maybe I'm just too old a man for this these days. Also worth recalling that I'm not any good at bullet hell games. I've streamed a fair few. They used to be prime punishment game material. We had quite a few Toho's. Great music, but I have never really been one for bullet hells.
Does this game have a roguelike element? No, not at all. I get that looking at our character, you'd think so. Looks like we picked up loads of different relics and other power-ups along the way, but no, those are just... Mm, power-ups that we have cooked and we equip and de-equip at our delight or peril. Okay, that was weird and disgusting. Where's this game even going with all this? It's lost the plot. We look like a walking pile of garbage we've glued together to make the worst Halloween costume known to man. Kind of sums it up. I mean, what are we sporting it? This is meant to be us. Just happy little dead zombie brought back to unlife. But we've got ourselves equipped with what? A smelly heart, jumpy feet, two extra arms, some kind of wheels on our feet, a turbine up our sphincter, and on top of that, what do we have? We've eaten some cutlet, some soy milk, some happy grass rolls, panna cotta, fairy dust sweet, royal milkshake, and blood lotus tea to make us some kind of freak. Although I quite like what's made us so swole. And of course we're carrying a fast firing pistol and explosive wand. seems kind of dark. Of course, the CO4 is that weird red stuff that's been contaminating and killing everything. Looking out the window, we see peaceful smiles floating in a sea of red. No way to save the infected. No way to prevent them becoming monsters. Parasite cocktail. I've made it. Parasites like the zombie fungus. Okay... We'd gone so well with the PG-13 language. It looks like someone from 2008 working on Adult Swim Cartoon just time traveled to 2020 and made a video game, says Endari. So oh, some good stuff in Adult Swim. I think that's where there was Space Ghost Coast to Coast and Home Movies, which was good for one season. Then mediocre for one and then pretty poor for two. Smash that like button, subscribe to my channel. I hope nothing kills me before I see you all in the next episode of Apocalypse Exploration. I'm not sure if anything's explaining why just about everything in this world has become sentient, though. Even our bag has a smiley face on it. So does our health, so does whatever this stuff is. her next? We kind of run low on recipes to find.
So this seems to be the main conflict right now. Simmer wants to activate the Stargate, Grill does not, because the Stargate will supposedly destroy everything. We haven't seen much proof of that though. Besides, Simmer's the one that brought us back to life. I was wondering if we were ever going to see more recipes, and there we go! Huh. So this is what Grill wants to feed us. Wow, man, this game does have a lot of different power-ups. Hidden Blade. Shield points. I've kind of migrated away from Malay. Corpse Explosion! We're back to Slay the Spire. Cast from full mana bar attack. Staff, generate, explosion, da 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 yeah, but I very seldom attack with full magic. I'll hold off these since I don't need them, unless this gives me a new animation. Let's have a look. No, still just my weird pot. Oh, hang on, upgrade. I can't upgrade Simmer's recipes, but I can upgrade Grills. And that's not too bad. We'll look into that once we have some better options. Yeah, sticking with the gunfire right now. Hell yes. Cleo comes in to say good afternoon, well good afternoon to you too. God, not long until it's evening on top of that. Citizens spreading false rumours about the existence of a new world. We'll publicly execute hundreds of them. Mm hmm. Lawful citizens interested in proceedings can scan and watch justice in action. Playing too many Chinese games on the channel lately. Corn energy drink, so whiskey. Whiskey from corn, huh? Have I had many corn based whiskeys? Double jumping's a staple in these kinds of games, but how about triple jump? But Metroid could infinite jump. I think once all said and done with this game, I'm gonna have to look up some kind of lore explanation for the game. Because it continues to make negative sense to me. Let's 
still do love how it looks though. Sprite work in the game is gorgeous. Did they just have some incredibly unhinged 2D artist make all the assets and I had to make a game around it? something that improves my gun. Expense mana, create a massive fireball for a hundred points of magical damage. Ooh, boomstick! Is that better? 12 per shot, 3 rounds, 55, medium range. I'd have to give it a go though, can't say no to shotgun. Chilies. Get me my shotgun. It's still so strange. There's this rather dark story about everything dying in a very abhorrent way. But the music is whimsical, the writing, some of the graphics. It feels like a mess, but it also feels like something, like a joke or a meme that I'm just not privy to. And liking British humour, I can appreciate that. Actually, rewatching one of my favorite skits. I actually forget its name, but it's about a guy peeing on another guy's leg. British humour is to American humour what German humour is to British. Incomprehensible. I wasn't entirely sure you had humour. Enough that it could be called German humour.
How does it go the last time the Germans had a sense of humor? 18 million people died. Playing Dragon's Dogma as a sorcerer, the gameplay here isn't actually all that different. Dodge and rain explosions down on them. Except I don't have my daft pawns around, completely failing to avoid completely predictable enemy attacks. I was actually ready to stream on time, believe it or not. But then I encountered a griffin in Dragon's Dogma. And I figured, ah, oh, we'll just take care of this then. I did, I, yeah, uh, took over an hour. I think it was a griffin. It couldn't fly, maybe it was a chimera. turn this game had with the weird red stuff, but now we've gone back to wacky, whimsical, everything has faces. Get me back to the man-made horrors. These things just keep spawning. I'll just ignore them for a bit. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> what?
game just doesn't stop being weird. What am I meant to make of all of this? Although I do appreciate their somewhat sensible conversation there. Oh no, I don't intend on streaming Dragon's Dogma 2. It's a game I am far preferring playing off stream in my own time. Feels like there's a lot more slow burning exploration going on. Which I prefer to do in my own time. Rather than having to have anything to do with streaming occupying headspace as well. Actually, did I get anything I can work with here? Judging what I see in the background, we're going to be getting our chili plants at long last. So I should be able to get my boomstick. Yeah, fiery. Let's have that. I can't get over how much effort went into the sprite work on these things. It's really good looking. And they're not even used for a very long time. Even with the death animation there. Who was the 2D artist on this game? Was it even one person? One very deranged person. I need to check what that weird thing I just picked up was. Was it simply health? Was it something more? Kind of looked wrapped up in something. Also, this indicates that I have a whole lot more recipe books to find. And one quarter of the game explored. Perhaps it's larger than I thought. How long to beat telling me this is a nine hour game? Now, if you want Dragon's Dogma 2 streams, I'm sure there are no shortage of other streamers covering it. Even in this community, I think I saw Franconian playing it. Most games I do actually prefer streaming. But the occasional game comes along where I want to get really immersed in it in my own time. And Dragon's Dogma 2 is such a game. Sometimes I think maybe I could have loved Dragon's Dogma 1 if I hadn't streamed it, but I don't know, it was a pretty, pretty rough game. With an abysmal start. Dragon's Dogma 2 was very quick to let you off the leash and actually start playing the game. I heard my name, what did I do this time? Uh, you've been streaming Dragon's Dogma, right Franco? It's possible I'm wrong. But unlikely. Alright, give me my shotgun. This is my boomstick. Probably worse than the existing gun, but can't say no to it. Lest I forget, shotgun is the reason I was able to win in my weekly one shot of Hades.
just a bit, oh, don't be so modest, the forefront Dragon's Dogma streamer in the community. Yeah, I'm convinced that's not doing anywhere near as much damage as the other gun. But I want it. Yeah, what is this? Is it healing? Does it give me max something? I don't know. I took a ride on the Oxen, paid 100 gold, the ride despawned, the bridge was broken, best 100 gold ever spent. <laughs> Not so fond of riding the Ox myself. Always runs into a fight anyway. Safer way to travel, I was told. Glass cannon build utterly saving me here. I get more defense and more attack damage. The more injured I am. Come on, Radish. Powerpuff Girls taught me how to deal with things like you. You need to eat it all up. Can I try something other than the explosion staff, though? Rifle fires a shot every three attacks. Oh. Looks like I'm more just skewering with it then. Hmm. Hmm. Should check it out. It's just a single shot, I'm not. Sure, actually, I'm pretty sure I don't prefer that over what I have. Give me back my explodey staff, even though it's difficult to use. One moment you're clicking, next moment you're holding, and it's got to see me through another boss fight. Let's go. <laughs> oh, it's given me whiplash the change of tone in this game, but how could I hate the fruit and vegetable Ginyu force here? Or maybe it's more like Transformers Devastator. I'm gonna need Grimlock and the other Dinobots for this. It 
it did orange. It did very annoying orange. The radish does not look happy with his lot in life. Yeah, I thought the game would be so much more of this. But again, I cannot begrudge it. Achievement get the immortal don't fear death. This continues to be very strange. Maybe it's the kind of game that makes a lot more sense on a replay, like Bastion. Or 999.
game continues to just throw everything at the wall and see what sticks. Now my sh is that still my sphincter? Super vacuum sucks up ingredients are a bit out of reach. It's a little late to be getting this, but okay. Always a nice upgrade. Hate having to rub my nose against everything I need to pick up. Avorion really drove that one home. Oh, game's not without its charm, Franco, that's for sure. But it still feels melancholic to play. I don't understand what's going on. Not by a long shot. However, what was that new chapter book all about? Freshwater creatures, parasites, more pro <laughs> more protein. But did that unlock more recipes here or something else? I still hadn't really understood what these do. It also says lake chapter, vegetable chapter. The game claims to have three chapters. I'm counting more than three. Well, why worry about it? So this is idol culture.
Oh, don't flatter me, Franco. Won't get you anywhere. Supreme President, four lieutenants. Strongest magic user. Yeah, but did they have this explosion staff? Sticking through with the firearms thing for now. Until something else comes along. I would love to be able to shoot without having to manage mana though. Having to alternate between clicking and holding to fire the rocket launcher. No big deal on its own, but also firing this, moving around and doing everything else. A bit less easy. Reminds me a bit of the problem I had playing the Nintendo DS game, The World Ends With You. The control scheme in that game completely defeated me. And I was a spry young boy back then. Here I am, an old crumbling coffin dodger. And I'm still defeated by some controls. I like that. Filthy slums have become a beautiful lake. Now that's dealing with urban decay. Why couldn't Infra have been about that? That's what the game said about bat meat there. One of the less appealing animals to eat. I've never tried one. I'd like to get around to trying it someday. But I probably want it prepared so it doesn't look like bat at all. Natural reservoir for disease is what the game said, yeah, but surely we can cook the diseases away. I remember trying so hard as a kid to speak underwater. The cartoons made it look so easy. Feels like we're utterly blowing through this chapter, assuming all the green stuff is chapter two.
endless cycle of suffering. Topple the dictator, another will stand in its place. Nothing changes. Hmm. Just saying toppling dictator makes me want to play some Just Cause. Where are we at with Just Causes now? Has there been a fourth one? And is it worth playing? Is there a fifth one on the way? Because I loved Just Cause 2. I think it would probably be a difficult game to come back to now. I played Just Cause 3. That game had a problem of being just too big. Or have we evolved beyond such games now? Four is out, and it is fun, but it's the same formula, and five has not been officially announced. Has it been announced in any other capacity? I know it's easy to get jaded with games, but I still love games so much, and there's still games coming out to get me excited. Then again, if Dragon's Dogma had been utter trash, I might be... I might be very glum and saying quite the opposite. Especially since yesterday we had a variety stream of, I think, six... six different games or so. I picked up a bunch of games in the Steam's uh, Spring Sale. And of those six games, about four and a half to five of them were garbage. I'd be, I'd be hard pressed to call that clicker game really garbage. I mean, it's a clicker game. What do you expect? But that's where the half comes in. Hmm. Throws out a blood-sucking leech. Repeated... Damage to enemies. Hmm, I like my shotgun, but the idea of covering my enemy in leeches sounds deliciously disgusting. Let's give that a go, shall we? How much damage does it keep doing? Does it ever stop? This could be a boss killer if it doesn't stop. Okay, the game's back in its force feed you upgrades constantly routine. Descend rapidly. I thought I could already do that. Couldn't I? Yeah. Hmm. Explain yourselves. I haven't seen this game before, says I am Cinder. It has great reviews. Is it just a great platformer or is there something unique about it? It's certainly not a great platformer. It's barely a platformer to begin with. There's not really any platforming elements to it. You just kind of keep moving through. It's just a weird experience. It's kind of a Metroidvania without the... or without much backtracking. It's spread itself pretty thin on its focuses. But it's very charming. No one element of this game is actually any good even, but... It comes together for an enjoyable experience. Well, maybe even enjoyable is pushing it. But it's weird and wonderful in its own way. Oh yeah, it's also quite disgusting. Unexpectedly disgusting. Just ask my leech power up.
Yeah, what can I say, Marvin? I enjoy reviewing games. I did actually briefly consider doing proper reviews. Well, what is a proper review? What's an improper review? I was planning on actually just reviewing games on my channel, but I decided against it. I write my reviews on Steam, and that's about as far as it goes. Because who am I to tell other people what games to play and not to play? And don't say influencer, because <laughs> that's a good answer. about reviewing whiskey? Well, I do do that, Kaladin. Although, it's been a while, hasn't it? I even had a bunch of whiskeys and uh, was planning a bunch of reviews for them. And like so many things, never got around to it. I don't have cards to give out, Marvin. Even when I was working at Paradox, I didn't have cards to be giving out. Gain shield when flying towards a hooked enemy. We don't really do much of that. Nor do we do shield bashing currently, we do leeching. Shield points, bubbles... Yeah, no, the shields never really gelled for me in this game. Mm, oh, I'd love to eat a piranha someday. I struggle to think of many animals that I wouldn't like to eat someday. Would if I could, I'd eat every animal on Earth at least once. After all, I enjoy both Surströming and Haggis. What other disgusting foods or... Well, obviously they're not disgusting, but what... Poised to be disgusting foods are there to try? Maybe the bat. Natto? I had Natto. It wasn't very good. It wasn't good at all. Whilst I had good food in Japan, I actually expected it to be better. It was hyped up as being some of the best food in the world. Most Michelin stars in one place is... Hang on, is my mouse making weird noises when I click it, or is that coming from the game? So yeah, there was good food to be had, but I did expect better. Especially their their sweets game, their candy was really rather poor. Their bread game was pathetic. And they love putting things inside of other things and, and treating that like cuisine. It's like, hey, we're gonna take a strawberry uh, hollow it out, fill it with cream, and charge you 500 yen for the experience. Uh, okay, no thanks. I like filling a lot of things with cream, actually.
Are you a ramen or a sushi ken? I don't see why that's an or. I love both. I am not a picky eater. I will eat figuratively anything. The few things in life that I have not enjoyed eating in the past, I have eventually come to enjoy or at least tolerate. The very last holdout that I can think of on my palate were olives. I could not stomach olives. I hated them. But just a few years ago, I was finally able to just choke down olives and it was all it was all right. Wouldn't ask for them at a restaurant, but they were okay. Prior to that, sweet corn, tomatoes. But the reason I didn't like tomatoes was because of a traumatic experience. I was just a wee boy. My mother said, here, I've got you some cherries. You like cherries, don't you? Num, num, num. <laughs> they were cherry tomatoes. Bamboozled by my own mother and she's just laughing the whole time. People wonder where I get my sadistic streaks from. Okay, I feel like the underwater segment of this game has long overstayed its welcome. Could we get to doing anything else now, please? get to an Irish special. Does this count as a sewer level? Does it look like a sewer to you? Right, maybe I can just speed my way through it. Wherever I'm meant to be going. Oh, this could be a mistake. Ah, there we go. <laughs> I think they take damage for being out of water. Leeches consume. Nice touch. A lot of love was put into this game. In a way I feel bad for perhaps not appreciating it as well as I could. Bye bye fishy. Light it up. Explosion. Yes. No self-harm either. Nothing seems to do any self-harm in this game. I guess I should be thankful. Did you eat Japanese curry? I think so. Not at all like... Indian curry, it was very dry. And cut the munchies while well, I'm kinda hungry, Dakoi. But that's besides the point. Well, there's the question there, Aether Tollyman. What are the worst under, uh, underwater segments you can think of in games? When I think underwater segments, Mario immediately comes to mind, but I don't think the Mario underwater was that bad at all. Mario 64's water movement was a bit crummy, but at least you didn't have to do too much underwater. 
earthworm gym underwater segment. Now nah, there's hell. All right, as ever, I'm being told to do everything. I guess that's fine. We were granted life anew. How can we say no? <laughs> can I trigger that from here? No. Mongolian style rocket pack. Dash twice in midair. Grill shoved a whole backpack into my mouth. Simmer doesn't look best pleased. Oh god, yeah, Ape Escape. Oh, that was a recent horror show. But Ape Escape controls in general were rough. Perhaps I was too hopeful to think that this game would be more akin to Dungeon Meshi. I hope Dungeon Meshi does become a game at some point. Oh, that'd be so good. Don't know how they do it though. Use established characters or not. Go the Wack Fu route. I used to hate olives because of a traumatic experience, says Kiwi. When I was little, my mother gave them to me at a restaurant under the guise of frog eyes. I was told that if I ate them and closed my eyes, I could see inside my stomach and I fell for it. Scum mothers and who'd have them. I guess that's just one of the advantages of having kids. You just get to screw with them like that. <laughs> I often wonder how they determine what a correct answer is on capture like this. Does it just compare it to what the majority of people say? Because if it could already calculate itself, then surely it wouldn't be asking. a special Chinese um, punishment. You and your extended family die and there's a very long list of who does and does not die in that. I forget why I was looking that up. Probably something related to the Three Kingdoms. Tailing the robots now. Are these robot things? Yeah, it looks like apple pie, noodle soup, elemental sundae, and apple McFlurry. Yeah, McFlurries are a sad state of affairs. All right. Are these any good? I can't tell if that's 10 or 70 damage. Thank you. 
Fear not low health. Low health only makes us stronger. Okay, well, to its credit, it's focusing a little bit more on platforming now, but I do love my platformers. I still wouldn't really call this uh, platformer focused. Magical golden liquid is just calling something something magical. I think it was another game that I played revolving around eating ridiculous items. How's this going, asked Golden Deer. Well, it's going. I was really excited about a twist. Well, maybe twist is the wrong word, but... There was a change in theme or tone with the game, which I could really get behind. But it's also turned back. It's mixing between morbid and wacky. I gotta say, I like the morbid quite a bit more than the wacky. Ooh! Killed me beyond its grave. being the case. Just say farewell to all these nuisances. If I'm allowed to. Which I am not. Okay. Sounds interest. Yeah, the game is interesting. Maybe not good interesting. <laughs> Maybe that'll go on the glowing review. Well, as somebody said when I continued to play that graveyard security game and yet you still play yeah I just wanted to see how bad that security game could get though not such a case with this game it's not bad That graveyard game is hot contender for the terrible ranking when I eventually tier list this year's games. Which was great fun to do for last year, so of course I'm going to do it again this year. Got to play through a lot of games though. Don't want to have the list shrinking each year. That would just tell me I'm losing my passion for games. Never. Nutrition cakes.
<laughs> Mandatory minimum sentence of death. Okay, I do feel like an upgrade is due, though. A quick dagger injecting flesh-eating viruses. 700 damage over 10 seconds. Certainly out DPSing the explosions, but I've got AoE there. Sword combos, axe. Hmm. You know what? This could work. If I just hold the right, uh, right mouse button forever. Consistent unloading with you. Hmm, might not be bad. It does tell me that I don't have much use for. You. And certainly not you. Don't know what else I'd be consuming at this moment though. Ah, magic damage increased. Magic usaging. Ooh, hmm. Yeah, no thank you. Check those out next time I get a cooking op. Oh well, we have a cooking option. Hmm. I don't think at ten percent is worth the usage increase. Feels like counter synergy. What's with this sad-looking pot? Oh, he doesn't have his mechanical wings, so my Dio pot's all sad. Oh. Gain a shield point for every successful melee. Mm. There's a lot of very uh, particular things here that need certain things to activate. If cast from a full mana bar, explosion. 10 damage, max mana. You know what? That might be worth my time. What a weird icon. Alright, uh, you're not doing much for me. Away you go. Vomit you up, munch you down. And now. This should allow for a lot of pain. For them, not for me. Lieutenant Ping, a savior. Early days miserable due to overpopulation. Working day and night, feeding people. Research efficient food. Nutrition cakes. Skinny, hungry faces were replaced by healthy smiles. I cannot believe that Infra escaped the lowest ranking. Look, I played a lot of real trash. I didn't like Infra, but it's not fair for me to call it as trashy as some of the other games on that list. I see, I see, you're doing an area of effect attack. Come on, Dragon's Dogma, you trained me for this.
say a, th a thing like this doesn't compare to a platform. That's why I don't say this game as much in the way of platformer focus. Oh, hang on. How do I get out of here? It's not like I'm playing Super Meat Boy here. How do I get out of here? Ah. CO4, 31 year old male, identified high risk potential criminal for being over 30. <laughs> oh dear, how do they treat their aged in China? Unemployed, no partner, thus he was arrested and used as an experimental subject. I don't know, Golden Deer, you're practically in China. How accurate is this stuff? Coerced to make physical contact, scanned his brain. Swelling, decay, extreme pain, screaming, spine, ceasing, brain waves, stopping. The body, except for the face, had completely transformed. Hmm. His eyes were closed and his mouth turned into a gentle smile. Ah. Oh. So maybe... The rat, the nasty red goo is actually the good guy in all of this. Like I said, Golden Deer, practically in China. Is that the game? Wow, that's painful. So it looks like this nasty mess is trying to bring us all to paradise, but we are fighting against it like the fools we are. Actually, I need to figure out where I'm going here. Onwards and upwards, perhaps? Jinx, look at what's happened to our poor zombie here. How is that much different from what the CO4 is doing? Except I don't seem to be very happy. And if you're wondering what's going on in this game, yeah, me too. trying to get into this laboratory to learn more about the stargates so that we can get what's left of this planet over to a nice happy place somewhere in space maybe so it's kind of like interstellar Yeah, the cold cruelty of machines replacing the veggie monsters is a bit sad. But I want more of that red stuff back. The CO4. A pulsing damage stuns nearby enemies after blocking an attack. Ah, okay, it's a shield synergy. We don't run with shields, we run with a rocket. Hold on, what, what is that?
Did I miss the fact that this actually fires something? Oh, okay. How much damage does that do? Hmm, not insignificant. I could just sit back and pelt enemies with this if I don't feel like rocketing them. But I do feel like rocketing them. I mean, hey, we could take an uncanny trip back to starting place and see our leafy friends once more. Actually, over here, I think it's to our slimy friends. But that feels very flow breaking. Thank God this game isn't full of Metroidvania elements. I'd be rubbing my face against every wall, trying every different kind of explosive I have to find a new area. Still feeling the mental damage from running through Super Metroid Link to the Past randomizer. Okay, finally getting a bit more platformer-esque. I think part of the problem though is that I could just tank my way through any damage that this could possibly give me anyway. It's not a difficult game. Same ATM says Fishlet's what scarred from Link to the Past Metroid. How long can one man possibly have to wait on Nitro? The Dutch menace. We sat around for three hours waiting on Nitro, so is that Nitro being terrible at not joining in the game, or Nitro being terrible at the game so you have to wait for his progress? I mean, I have certainly been that man that people have to wait on in those games, but I'm no Zelda master. Bad orange. How bad then? Surely I know both of those games well enough by now to understand your jargon. It'd be poetic if he was waiting on the quake symbol. feel too much un uh, unlike Noita. It dances around people hitting them with this wand that I've created. I made a wand that had nukes. Was it nukes? Earthquake. Something that caused a lot of scenery destruction and that lagged the game so hard. Ah, Noita, what a game. He had something on Ridley in the ass end of No Fair that locked Bass getting me Varia. That locked 80% of my game. Yes, Varia. That's the one that lets you go through the lava place, maybe? 
Yeah, Simmer, you're falling apart. But don't worry, we'll get in here and do the thing. Didn't even press E. <laughs> press D. Hmm. But the barrier still seems to be there. Maybe I was meant to press E. Oh god, that would suck. suck a lot. Deploying a mobile turret to fire... Ooh, practically laptop gun. Hmm. That is tempting. Kind of works against my current setup, but... After playing Perfect Dark again, how could I say no to the laptop gun? Ah, it doesn't stick to walls, though. Hey, the damage it does isn't that bad. 60 per shot. And even it has a smiley face on it. Everything does. It's like I'm playing Mario. Problem the gun. I do like the gun, but it's very clunky. Give me back this. Why is our head a sunflower? Our head is a giant. Bees nest, I think. Which is why we have little bees that are helping us. Although the amount of help they're giving is probably minuscule at this point. I think they're dealing barely any damage to, you know, machines. 
is still alive. I think my best bet is to just avoid the fight. Oh gosh. I don't think it's worth it for all these pickups. Move! So dead. Yeah, starting to want my vegetable friends back. through this then. Bar humbug. was a lot better when it wasn't in this factory. way forward to get my health back through the fights as well. Just starting to seem a bit necessary. Gameplay reminds you of Risk of Rain. Now there's a game I avoided. For no good reason. A bunch of people were playing it and I just didn't see the appeal. Then again, if it plays out like this. Alright, computer, remove the laser barrier, please. The first Risky Rain was really cool, the second one wasn't. Alright, there we go. Can we be done with the factory, please? Second one with 3D. Can be bad, but not always. Mario went 3D. Banjo-Kazooie could have been 2.5D. Huh? So was the Terminator. How did they take care of the Terminator? They melted him, right?
Given the complete absence of music in Dungeon Munchies, I'm gonna listen to the Risk of Rain soundtrack. The game has music. Not a lot of it, and it's not very good. And the audio balancing of it is way out of whack. gonna be a yellow devil routine with the way those balls were moving back and forth I still kind of think it is how I meant to avoid that. Feels like just a whole screen hit. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't be so quick to criticize my bees. They are doing alright passive damage. Each of them seem to be doing 10 damage. And unlike myself, I don't need to worry about their well-being. I'm going to be stuck a wee while on. Hmm. Need to dodge at the right times. And I'm not good at dodging here. Hmm. Probably because I have dodge mapped to middle mouse button, which I'm now starting to regret. Oh well. The bees can still fight for me. Yeah, what even is the premise in Risk of Rain?
gosh, the premise here is I'm dead unless I get my health back here. There we go, finally got it dodged. Careful thinking, forward, but okay, well, failed that time. Feels like a hell of a difficulty spike in this game. Those wee arms that let you cling and climb up the walls work against you horribly here. Because they stop you from sliding down fast, although maybe there's a way to still slide down with them. Maybe some control that has bested me. Curious what's down here? Nothing, okay. Less curious now. Move. If I just don't get hit at all, my bees will eventually kill my enemy for me, probably. Just a lot slower than I can. Desperation phase. Where if you have a health bar, I certainly can't see it. There is that white bar, and also a red bar, and it's tiny and over here. Risk of Rain 1 Returns, such a well-executed game, I think you'd really enjoy it, despite it being a real-time roguelike. Why is that a despite? Also, whew, which I was that close. Clearly just needed to distract myself by reading chat. 
reading acro chat, no less. Oh dear. Oh boy. <laughs> like that. It's like that bit in Razor 2, bit in reverse. Maybe how it works is that that grey bar is a countdown where it's invincibly just smacking you. And then once its bar is done, then I can start laying the smack down. Yeah. Let's test that theory by blitzing you now. Well, it was only just a theory. Where the hell am I? Ah. Life was too good for me. Still don't think I understand these faces, though. Oh yeah, I don't think I ever did test out the leeches as boss killers idea. The logic was sound. Alright, if this fails, I'll see if I can't get my hands on the leeches again. Now steady now, Acro. Do we need to go and get the synopsis for the infra-long playback? Bosses still take damage during the grey phase. Just makes it shorter. Ah. Then what does the bar mean? St. Mario Kart. The more sensible thing here is to focus more on my own survival rather than dealing damage. Yeah, deal damage is free, obviously. Do not sink down into the goo. Stay way high and dry above it.
Could I not just hide up here the whole time? No, the balls are seeking. I might be able to disperse some damage from up there. Hmm. Yeah! No! <laughs> Don't fall now. Glad that is over. <laughs> the achievement for that is Hasta la Vista. Heavens knows what that reference could be. I've actually forgotten why we've come into this whole place in the first place, so please elaborate. Oh yes, finding out about the Stargate project. Are they going to destroy the world? Can they connect to wonderful paradise Eden, Pri Eden Prime out there? Computer. This game loves to be daft.
Um, but Frostpunk taught me just how efficient it is to be eating people. What was it? One person was 15 raw food, which could be cooked into... Oh, what are the ratios again? It's been too long since I've played Frostpunk. Mm, that's two regular... Oh, well, 30 regular meals... Is that 45 soup and 60 sawdust meals? I think it is. You see 60 meals out of one person. Pretty good. And people don't need to eat that often. Ah, Frostpunk. High speed, high penetration weapon. Lots of rounds. Used a video game addict... Uh, used to corral video game addicted youths in the past. Might be able to get behind that and see how you operate. Oh, that's going to be annoying. All right, let's go with it. When are we not, Salty Tempest? Someone needs to be punished. Especially since after the recent punishment game we had, we're clearly devoid. We're in a deficit. I feel like we're getting a bit betrayed by Simmer here. She said she wasn't going to do it until she found out info. And we didn't get the info and she's going, oh, okay, well, I'm going to kill everyone anyway. Damn you, Simmer. Hey, just saw this channel randomly wanted to say I enjoy the Xenonauts campaign. Have a good start. Oh, Xenonauts. Xenonauts, so good. Xenonauts 2, not so good. Hopefully it eventually becomes good when it inevitably gets out of early access. Which I had so much fun with Xenonauts. I'm glad Baron was there to do some yin and yang with me on that one. It's even more enjoyable to bounce off of someone else with that game. <laughs> it's better than this game, that's for sure. Oh well, we're probably two thirds of the way through it. We'll see it through. Yes, thank you, Nickel. Yeah, no kidding, Rolling Ninja. How do you think I felt? I just came back with my dinner, only to watch me get shot in the back of the head. And for Baron to laugh! 
laughter at my falling. Oh man, what a horrible weapon I've got. And it's all the more horrible because it's kind of good. Penetration is rather nice. So what's going on now? Even the ice has become sentient. I'm not sure if it was ever explained why everything suddenly became sentient. Although, high likelihood that it was explained and I wasn't paying attention. Mm, man, sound effects worthy of Jet Force Gemini right here. DPS. If I could just have two of these pistols as my main weapons, I would certainly replace a rocket launcher with that. Nanomachines. Every melee hit gives deadly nanomachines to the enemy. Chain of lightning. Position last. Staff ability cast. Increases staff casting range. Yes. Yes, absolutely. What do we get rid of? Sorry, wasps. Time for you to go away. Oh, hey, Callum. I picked up your pawn earlier today. Only because it's your pawn, though. Certainly not for that level 9. Or being uh, an archer. No room for archers on my team. I'm sure she was terrible. <laughs> uh... Actually, I think I just grabbed her before I quit for for this. We'll see what she's like this evening. Well, mistakes have been made. I thought there might have been something special if I just jumped over there enough. I just joined. What are the orbs flying off to? The orbs? The orbs? Oh, 
Oh, right, I do pick up some orbs from fallen enemies, and that's uh, health replenishment. Oh, hey! Haven't seen you in a while. I'd completely forgotten what happened to you. Simmer is falling apart, leave behind against her will, won't be her anymore, following, what do we do? Don't have her use any more magic. Why does everyone need my help? I do remember explanation about things becoming sentient. I don't remember it happening before or after this moment in the story. Alright, well, let's hold out for a bit and see if it happens. See if we can get our much needed expl uh, explanation. A lot of the enemies are getting a lot more screen wipey these days. Guess I just need to get good. How it goes, Kamul. <laughs> Sweaty sports drink. Resist stun and freeze and recover mana. Release to expend all mana, heal the mana. It's got what zombies crave and electrolytes. Mm, I'm for a different primary weapon though. Hold, release, slow moving black fireball. Mm, I'd hope for some kind of rapid fire main weapon that I can just hold down and aim, honestly. But it seems that's not on the menu, so rockets still. Ah, that's right, axes are rapid fire, but they're also melee. Right, maybe I can just get away from you. Whee! Ha <laughs> ha 
Seems very on point considering I'm playing this war of mine tomorrow for the weekly one shot. You think so, Nemi Club? I've never played this war of mine. So I'm keen to see what it's all about. Hopefully it's good, because it's gonna be, what, seven hours long? It would suck to suck. a burst of black flames that continues burning the enemy. I don't have the Wendigo meat for you. And we haven't found the Wendigo. So never mind that then. Which team scenario are you doing? Team scenario? I don't know what you mean. Should I know? For this war of mine? I don't know. Challenge just says, survive 30 days, don't trade for food or water. I had no idea there was anything to do with team scenarios. That seems like a very strange terminology for a game about surviving a war. This game is very fond of giving you tonal whiplash. Feels like just half an hour ago we were dealing with wacky uh, fruits and vegetables. And they're even back! Is that an apple or a cherry atop a snow cone? An apple indeed. That was meant to be a funny story about a guy killing himself. He did seem to be laughing about it. But can we really trust Simmer on this one? I don't think we can trust Simmer on anything here. She already betrayed us. Necromancers don't have a sense of right or wrong anyway. Ooh, 
Perhaps all these apples could serve for a really good apple pie. Mm. Fire and exhaust. One extra bullet every shot. That could actually be good. Essentially this gun's going to double its DPS, ignoring reloading. I can get behind that. Let's have an apple pie. An apple pie made just out of apples. So even the crust is made out of apples. This looks like a McDonald's apple pie. Hmm. I'm gonna get rid of you. You're not doing a whole lot for me. But I'd really like to have a main gun that has some kind of magazine. As it stands, I don't. Oh god, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> oh well, let's roll with it anyway. Where am I going? The enemies are just like Rune Factory. Murder apple monster, get apples. Mmm, Rune Factory. I thought I had the itch for it, so I actually loaded up Rune Factory 4 to do a quick run through. But I don't think I have the hunger for it. Been a lot of. Oh, dearie me. Hold on, that thought. I got enough games, I don't need to grab another one of my play for a hundred hour games. Much as I love Rune Factory. Maybe someday there'll be a Rune Factory 6, and it's so good we forget all about Rune Factory 5. Nah, I played a ton of Rune Factory 3 already. All on the DS. Man, I love that DS. Every shot landed by a gun increases shooting speed. Mm. Could be leaning pretty heavily into this gun. Wait, how am I back here? I must have slid down while reading that. These gun mods are putting me in mind of 20 minutes till dawn. There was a uh, vampire survivor clone that I really liked. Please no. This whole routine is unfortunately putting me in mind of Snake Rattle and Roll, a game I really don't like. Getting up complicated places whilst enjoying ice physics. Well, the controls are slightly better, at least. Slightly. 
Snakegraph and Roll was a mod game. Did it ever get destroyed? I think it did. Somebody ran that game really well. And I must apologize, I can't remember who. Why do they have horns? Snake Rat and Roll, wow. I clearly need to go and rewatch the mod games. Fortunately, I grabbed all the ones that I could and put them into a playlist. Some mean spirited individual commented on Nitro's run of Patrician, slagging him off for playing on normal mode. That's not fair, that's what the challenge was. Hard mode Patrician 4 is really not worth your time. The only difference, if I recall, in hard mode is that you have slimmer margins and that ports freeze at winter. And the ports freezing is actually quite arguably something that makes the game easier. Because as soon as a port thaws out, you have a starred village which is desperate for anything, so you can make massive money just selling to it. Attrition 5 when? No mode of patty is worth your time. Do you play any economic games, Max? Well, I guess you played Kamadori. That's practically an economics game. And it's good.
Okay, I feel like I understand even less of the story now. But a zombie's got to do what he's got to do. Yeah, exactly. Rolling ninja. I have no clue. Look, I missed something coming down here. Hold that thought. Nope, betrayed by my gamer senses. Oh gosh, this is a pile of bones. Been using this rocket launcher for far too long. It's probably way too weak on DPS. Mm, don't know if this will be better or not, but we'll go with it anyway. And I wanted to make me that... Gory meat bun? Yeah. Go on. Although what I lose for you, I don't know. I like my damage and defense. I can get rid of you. Just vomit that up and enjoy your gory meat bun. And now this agonizingly loud weapon. Can DPS like mad? Good. Oh, but does it stop if I miss? No, just keeps firing like mad. But it looks like it slows down after a while. I see. Whoa, whoa, what's hurting me? Is it you? Yes, yes it is. Wow, the power of using an actual weapon now. It's actually hurting me how badly this thing misses due to spread shot. Definitely going to be an MVP of, against uh, large targets, though. Yeah, I'm noticing that Elipod. All right, let's put this to to the test. How quickly can we just eliminate somebody with this thing? Problem against dying? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, they don't drop health, they don't drop experience, they don't drop those weird light bulb things either. And why even fight? What is it we fight for, comrade?
Really starting to feel the lack of the healing though, makes me wish I'd picked up those uh, healing things early on. There was this weird green fruit. It claimed that the tree dropped them, never once saw the tree drop them. Take the offhand healing drink. Yeah, but then I wouldn't have my pew 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 gun that everyone hates listening to. Difficulty increase after having come to this area. a boss that has phases. figure out how to better deal with those ghosts, the trio of ghosts that just hones in on me. Really, they just come and immediately start gobbling on me. I believe there's an achievement for beating each chapter deathless. Like I say, once I'm done with this, I kind of want to watch a run through this game done very competently. Happens quite often with games that I play. What's the alternative? Get good at it myself? Oh, I don't think so. I 
if I got any better at any more games, it'd lock me up for study somewhere. to wonder if I wouldn't be better back with my beloved grenade launcher here. I could do with the AoE. that it hemorrhages magic. Oh, that's one of its problems. Explosion wand saves the day again. Uh oh. <laughs> I know I needed to be there. Perhaps what's happening here is that I'm fighting against the Elite Four that they were alluding to earlier. Hey, if you just want to keep doing that, that's fine by me. this guy. Hmm. Oh, of course! How could I forget? I was going to get all leechy on everybody. And what do I want as my main? Hmm. The shards aren't going to help me here. Casts a flurry of icy rain at the target. Magical damage. Oh, but it expends mana. The mana ban uh, mana balancing is rough. Hmm. Go back with my Stygian Blaze. And switch ourselves out for... Not the gun typing. Not the gun typing. Not the gun typing. 
Movement, yes. Hit points, yes. Magic damage, no. So what will I have then? Heals 8 mana per second when mana gauge is full. I'm not sure I understand. So when you have full mana, you gain mana? What could that possibly mean? Why exactly does Jake always need to be on his last life to win? Is that part of the infernal pact? Just feels better when your back's against the wall, Worm. Shockwaves with shield bashes, swinging sides, deep cutting. Successful melee attacks to generate a shield. Oh, yeah, I could give that a go. It creates a circle. The circle stays there, so you can just mana charge zone from anywhere. Ah, I see. Mm -hmm. Well, I've still got two spots left over. Hey, I can get my wasps back. I haven't seen them in a while. Feeling any better ideas? I guess I'll just take DPS. Right, so can I just leech you to death? I had this idea that this might just be a boss killer because I could just stack endless leeches on somebody. But then I thought, surely the game wouldn't allow that. Surely it wouldn't be so easy. They don't do a lot of damage, but they do hurt. Go, my leeches. Leech that skeleton. Dig deep for the marrow. Slow burn, but it is a burn. I feel like he's getting faster and better with his uh, loss of health as well. It's not just my trick, it seems. Kinda works. Got the speed that Skelly Man goes at those terrifying. Perhaps I shouldn't be too surprised that the game gets harder as time goes on, but what a spike these fights have taken.
Cheng's ears are off. Alright, I think for this then, I need to say goodbye to that slight boost and instead grab myself some... Where do I got my wasps? I was thinking about the fairies for a moment, but I could have sworn I had something that gives... Ah, I'd forgotten about the slime jelly. Yes, I can get behind that. Maybe not you, however. Which one gives me the fairies? I'm sure I picked up something that gives me a bunch of magical fairies that help me out. Ooh, you know what? The, the mucus could actually help with this fight since he stays on the ground. On the other hand, I myself don't spend a lot of time on the ground. And tickle him to death yet. Yeah, Roski, this is what AAA gaming has taken from you. Support the fight, support the indies. I assume this is an indie game. I have, I have no idea who made it. slightly better, but I'm probably putting that more down to my movement being better. Ah, let's not smudge the finish here. Although maybe it's the bees. Come on, a few more leeches and a few more bee stings, and this skeleton's going down for good. Or rather, he's going into his desperation phase, and then I get to die again. Okay, be gone. <laughs> he looks ridiculous with the leeches all over his face, though. Looks like Dr. Zoidberg. There we go, Jesus. Still feeling the grim consequences of Dark Souls to this day. Hmm, should I stay with this setup? Maybe, feels like a mini boss rush here. Check something back here. Okay, so this must still be... Maybe this is the end of chapter two. We have been here for a while.
All right, let's hope the leeches work on ghosts. If they work on skeletons, surely they'll work on Spooky here. Oh, this is gonna be rough. And I really rather think that the leeches are not dealing the kind of damage I need Spooky to be eating. I know this isn't Spooky's house of jump scares, but now I'm really seeing her and thinking, oh, she does look like Spooky. Very swift end to that. Right. Need a new plan. Need a new, considerably better plan. Hmm. Fires a burst of black flames that continue burning the enemy. What if I dual wielded these dark looking weapons? Well, the problem is, I have to keep clicking with this sword whilst I can hold down the other one. Maybe? But then, what can I have that synergizes well with this? Certainly not you. We got the gun blade going, of course. Uh, well, it's a gun, kind of. What was that awesome gun thing I had? Fire and exhaust. That might actually not be any good. Because all it's doing is... Like, I don't know if I have anything that makes me reload faster. Whatever, let's go with this. Maybe the spread will help me. Hmm. Wait a second, I have a cunning plan. I don't want to keep clicking. What if I can automate the process? Yeah, there we go. I've got auto fire going now. I've got to say, Simmer's skeletons, they take quite the beating to go down. And so does Simmer. A scary health bar. Scary because I am 40% dead and she looks to be 10% dead. And there's no healing to be had off of her little skeleton menaces. even remotely close to good. Hmm. 
<laughs> I really need some sustenance for that fight. I would like to get myself my hands on this. Although that's very low amounts of healing, isn't it? I wonder if there's a better healing item out there. Well, there could be a lot of recipes that I have not found that would heal me. Fart after taking or blocking an attack, inflicting 20 damage. We're dungeon Keeper Bile Demons now. Hang on. Oh, that's percentage. I thought I'd get a flat bonus to damage, then I could grab a rapid fire weapon and put an end to her. Hmm. I have no idea. Clearly, the answer is just do exactly the same thing again, but better. And that's not better, Jesus. She didn't got that wee skeleton rope thing that keeps me close to her, like that previous person had tying me to the ground. ridiculous. Right. What can I do? Could I stay far away and hit you? Well, you still have those annoying enemies that have a lot of health that come and chase me down. If this was a cat boss, you wouldn't have a problem. I'm still bitter about my points. Oh, the cat's organized neatly. I thought the thing was that I did have a problem with that. Maybe I need a lot of explosions. Maybe what I need is my rocket launcher back. What's bothersome is having to switch these things out all the time with a <clears throat> with any time we have a new build though. I don't think those wasps are really doing anything for me now. What did I have that worked with these anyway? Hmm. Increase max mana? I don't know about that. Yeah, there is the mana circle thing that I could try. Haven't seen that in action yet. Activate a chain of lightning that deals 20 damage between your position and the last staff ability cast. I don't tend to move that much doing this. Repeatedly inflict 10 lightning damage on hooked enemies. Flying to the enemy generates a shock wave. I don't know how the hooks are created. Is that a different attack? Mm, 
don't really want to be using my mana 40% faster for only 10% more damage either. I'll go with this. Get the big damage going. Yeah, if we can. In this case, I do not want my fast clicky thing going. It is certainly an interesting game, Risk. And it's charming, but I wouldn't call it good. Okay, so I think I'm wasting my time dealing with the skeleton guy there, because Spooky just immediately brings it back. Oh, crumbs. Oh, maybe not. Maybe you're building a veritable army here. guy has got to go, though. Is it time for Slay the No, why would it be time for Slay the Spire? I've got to kill Discount Spooky. But I am barely making a dent in her. did about 10, maybe 15% damage on her. What in the world can I bring to this party? Hmm. Oh yeah, now Toho Luna Nights. That was a great game. But this game doesn't have a lot of focus. It's anywhere and everywhere. It does look great though. What in the blazes can I do? Mm. I could lean into using this thing a lot with its rapid fire. Its damage output's a little pathetic at times, but then do I have a long-ranged main weapon that I could use? Rifle's damage output's kind of low, but it does shoot every three turns, or three hits, or three somethings. Summon a powerful ice bird by harvesting soul shards from dead enemies. Maybe this works, even on these guys? I can give it a go. Then I can have some backup, and I can shoot with that, and let's get something that works with... What kind of weapon does it count as? Scythe, huh? Okay. Forget the mana bar then. I just want that extra health. I'm in dire need for extra health. I need that movement as well. I like the defense and the damage output, and a little bit of healing if I can. Otherwise, I want that thing that makes me shoot faster. Th 
fires and exhausts one bullet every shot. Yes. And then finally, I don't actually know. How about a shield? Oh, crumbs. That's not what I wanted. Glad I checked. I don't want that. I want the one that shoots faster every time. That's the one. Speed up my shots. We have summoned something, so summoning does work to a degree. Oh god, oh god. DPS is definitely improving. It's funny, I'm fighting me, but with other abilities. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Phase two, that's got to be a good sign. Kind of wish my little bird's melee attacks would work towards making my own shield here. I can't even dodge well like this. Let me just rearrange myself a bit. Right. I thought I was being so clever remapping dodge to middle mouse button. I think I might have been a fool. Good God, where does she want me to go? Spooky, this is getting asinine. Okay. Oh, God, my poor hands. Oh, no, she ain't done. Okay. I was naive.
I think what saved me was just having that bird be another target. If it was, I guess I wasn't paying all that much attention. Okay, are we done here? <laughs> but I want to run, Grill. My little summon bird is ruining this whole moment by thrusting on my back.
Oh, hell no. All right, there we go, that's chapter two down. Final chapter is three, probably has the bombastic ending and certainly will be something we see next time I come back to this. This is a difficult game to play too much of at one go, especially after that difficulty spike that we rammed our face into on this chapter. Or maybe I'm just bad, or maybe I have all the wrong builds for it, I don't know. Whatever the case, I don't think this game's very good, but I'm, I'm having a hard time hating it. It's it's weirdly charming. Very weirdly charming, and I still don't fully understand what's going on with it. Anyway, I'll be back with this and finish this game off at the start of next week. Which is to say probably Wednesday. Or is it Thursday? I don't know, I haven't checked my own schedule. All I can think about is Dragon's Dogma, which is what I'll burn the evening with. But I will be back tomorrow with the weekly one-shot. And that is This War of Mine, so until I'm back with that, it is a cheers and a cheerio.